In today's um, lesson, I want to go over how to construct a regular hexagon inscribed in a circle, as well as a, um, a square, which is a regular quadrilateral inscribed in a circle. So the first thing I'm going to do, okay, sh you should have already tried this on your own, is I'm just going to make a point so I know where the center of my circle is since I'm using the tool. I'm going to draw circle A. Okay, I'm going to put that to the side. We um, name a circle by its center. So there's circle A. Now I already have my compass setting onto that of the radius of that circle. So when you're constructing a hexagon inscribed in a circle, that means it's inside, the first thing you do is make a point anywhere on the circle. You're going to keep your compass setting the same, okay? Put it at your starting point, and then you're going to make arcs all the way around the circle of the length of your radius. Keep moving it. I'm going to have to rotate because I'm not that tall. Okay. We'll make one there. Bring it around here. And keep going. Well, it doesn't need to be that long. And I should be, if you want to check, pretty close here. And it is. Okay, so that was my starting point. And so now I have this point and one, two, three, four, five more to give me a total of six vertices. These are the vertices of the hexagon. So using a straight edge, I'm going to connect each to its consecutive vertice. And here is our, well, let's try that one again. It didn't show. Here is our regular hexagon. So since it's regular, all of these segments are the same, okay? And all angles should be the same. I just want to take a moment to discuss this hexagon further before I take a look at the construction. And if we take and draw from the center to each vertice a line segment, it breaks the polygon up into triangles. Just like we do when we want to find the area of one of our regular polygons. Okay? And because there's a total of 360 degrees at the center, Okay, that one angle is going to be 360 divided by 6, 60 degrees. So each central angle is 60 degrees. We know each of these segments are the same. And if it's, this is 60, to split the two angles at the base of the isosceles triangle, uh, 180 minus 60 is 120, split that in half. And these all end up being equilateral triangles. I don't need to go all the way around. Just to highlight uh, some other circle theorems, if you have a, if you have congruent central angles, that means the arcs are congruent. And also, if you have congruent arcs, you have congruent arcs. All right, now on to the square. So I'm going to draw my circle first. I have to make or give myself a center to draw my circle. And there's the given circle. The first thing you want to do when you're constructing a uh, square inscribed within your circle, you want to draw a diameter. So I'm going to draw a diameter here. Diameter has to go through the center. You can draw any diameter. So that just split the circle into two 180 degree arcs. And we're now going to bisect that diameter to give us two 90 degree arcs. So we've got to open it up past the midpoint. And to bisect the diameter, we need our overlapping axes. You can draw the full arcs. Well, I'll draw the full arc.
Okay. Now connect those two points of intersection. You'll notice that also goes through the center. So I have another diameter. It's going to make it longer. Okay. So I took uh, each 180 degree arc and I made it now back to 10, 90 degrees. Okay, so we're going to connect the four vertices I now have by the intersection of each of the diameters in the circle to form the square. Because the arcs are congruent, they're each 90, I know all of these chords are going to be congruent. Okay, and that's our square.